Hi. In this lesson, I want us to think a little bit about how we can get geological at Christmas. We've got the three kings here on the way to, to Bethlehem. Yet, one of those gifts that's being brought, forget the frankincense of the myrrh, is gold. I want us to look at some of the geology of gold in this lesson. Gold is, in some ways, a magical substance. It has some pretty remarkable properties. The fact it never tarnishes. It always looks the same bright yellow colour. The fact that it, it never changes. Gold is something that's been desired by people for thousands of years. And we know from the work we've been doing about finding metals in rocks that gold has that geological origin. There are geologists employed to go out and find this stuff, extract it from rocks even when it's in concentrations so low it, you can't even see it in the rock. Yet because of the high price it commands, because of the properties that it has, it's valuable. I want us to think about the gold that's been mined. You've seen a, a video already uh, about it. But this stuff has a great deal of value. This is an example of a, uh, of a sample of gold, only 6.2 grams. It's really quite a small specimen. But some lovely crystal structures here that have grown uh, naturally uh, as gold is found, uh, unusually I suppose, as, a, as an element in nature. How much would you pay for this specimen? Certainly be a nice addition to uh, to your rock collection. If you fancy it, it's going to cost you $2,200 or £1,700. Part of that is down to the weight of the gold. This particular specimen has got some extra value because of uh, these relatively unusual uh, crystalline shapes that it's formed in. So it's more of a collector's piece than uh, just for the gold content. This gold piece we can see though is part of uh, the total amount of gold that's ever been mined. I want us to investigate a question. I want us to think about whether all the gold that's ever been mined could fit into C block. Could we take all of, all of this gold, maybe make it into bars like this? This, this particular bar uh, is refined uh, and formed by the Royal Mint just up the road in Llantrisan. It's virtually pure gold. It's 24 karat gold. We can see it weighs a kilo, and it's what's described as 999.9 .9 fine gold. That means... Uh, of that 1,000 grams, less than 0.1 gram is not gold in that bar. It's as pure a gold as we can refine. So if we took all the gold that's ever been mined, made it into bars like this, could we stack those up into C block? If we're going to ask this, answer this question, we need to think about what information we're going to need. What I'd like you to do on the appropriate page in your booklet is to write down what information you would need to be able to uh, work out the answer to that question. What do you not know that you would need to be able to work out to be able to answer that? Pause the video now. 
and see what you can come up with. Okay, you should by now have a bit of a list. For this list, there's perhaps a few key pieces of information that are going to help us. For example, how much gold are we talking about? What is this quantity of gold that's been uh, produced? If we know the amount of gold, and when we measure gold, we're measuring it in terms of weight, how much space is that going to take up? What's the volume of all that gold? And something else for us to consider as well will be how much that would all be worth. Let me show you some data. The best estimate we have for all the gold that's ever been mined, and I'm talking here throughout human history, is 197,563 tonnes. The density of this gold is 19 tonnes per cubic metre, which means that one cubic metre of gold would weigh 19 tonnes. That's about the same as four school minibuses. How much do you think, or how big then do you think, should I say, this gold bar actually is? Could we work that out? And if we know the weight of all the gold and what its density is, can we turn that into a volume? Remember, density is mass, or weight, divided by volume. Finally, if you want to buy that gold bar, if you wanted to treat, for example, your, your favourite geology teacher, I mean, Christmas is coming, that bar would cost you, at present day prices, £69,164.84p. Perhaps something for your, your, list, your letter to Santa. So that's some of the key information that you'd need to be able to work this out. But it's not all. What other information do you need to be able to work out whether all of that gold would fit into this building? Make a list. See if you can start doing some of the calculations. And next lesson, we're going to be looking at how we can actually go about answering this question. I'll see you then.